boom what's going on everyone want to do a quick little video update here working through shopping cart uh the shopping cart project as part of the odin projects curriculum so it feels great to be on this project now it is definitely a tough one for sure but want to give a little update what i'm working on here uh so this is what it looks like so far and really it's not it's nothing too great so far really just trying to get basic content and base styling um on the page and mostly kind of what i've been working on is the page switching logic so we got home page here but i can also switch to the shopping component which renders all the different uh, items to the screen different products all that good stuff i also have an about component uh so that's bas basically kind of what i've been working on there is just using react router to kind of link to all the different pages here uh, i think just the last page i got to work on is like a little checkout page so if i'm on the shop now section Oh, this is another page I got here. If I click on any product here, it um, will render its own page in itself. So here is where maybe I can select the quantity, get a little more in-depth description about it, and boom, hit add to cart. And then uh, next I can have uh, a checkout screen come up. So let's say I click on another product here, some random product, some nice jewelry, boom, like that there. Um, boom, it renders its own its own page, its own component. And next thing I got to work on is when I hit the add the cart button, we'll have a little checkout page. And you know, maybe if I'm feeling good, I'll have a little payment, a little payment page as well, where they can enter like credit card info and things like that. You know, it won't go through to, to a server or anything like that. Uh, but just, yeah, that's what I got there. Just kind of playing around with that. Um, yeah, that's basically kind of what I've been working on there. If we go back to home, just got a little base styling down here. You know, we got a header component, we got a little search bar, which I have to make that work in there, a little cart option. Um, also, what I'm going to work on next here is when I click the cart, it's going to um, go to that checkout screen or that checkout page, uh, checkout component, whatever you want to call it. You know, got a little description text here, a little picture, nothing too great here. Got a little image slider going as well. That'll automatically advance slides. You can also advance it yourself. Just got a few sample images showing there nothing too crazy on this page always like when i'm working through these projects here is that i go through i get like a first run done and i get like a base styling and i get more or less everything like kind of in the right place kind of all the content down um and then i really start kind of working more of the advanced logic from there i'm like once i get all the advanced logic down and all the directions and all the specs are met then i can go back at the end and really trying to um put some advanced styling to it, make it look a little bit better. But yep, I'm just getting some base styling down, getting that tab switching logic, that page switching logic down. Boom, just like that there. About us one more time, just some random BS there. Got a little header and footer there too. Uh, for the code, nothing too crazy here. Just quickly going to depth what I got. Don't mind the all the commented out code, just kind of experimenting with a bunch of different shit uh it's a work in progress it is a work in progress but here we're using react router so whenever you're using react router you're going to import it at the top of the file where the hell is this shit uh here oh uh, like using route from react router dom uh is there something else we import maybe not i'm just crazy okay i think there's a couple different commands that you got to run and then if you want to use routes or routes route or routes i can't even speak uh, you got to import at the top of the file, then you use it down here. Usually you're going to use this in your app JSX. So you can close this whole thing in routes and you have your different path. Uh, this right here, the slash is going to be your home or your root. It's going to render out the home page. Uh, the home page, if you saw, it includes a header, it includes the main. Let me go home. It includes a header. Boom, this here. Main, middle section, little image carousel, image slider, and footer. That's everything that's in main. Uh, we're also rendering the shopping component. So if I go there, let me scroll up here. Shop now. Yep, there we go. Uh, it's going to render out that shopping component, just like so. And we also have an about. That's going to be coming up next, as I kind of already explained there. But that's kind of the code that goes into that there using React Router. Um, we also have a not found page. Let me see if I can get that working. So if I go slash blah, blah, blah uh yeah boom page not found page not found doesn't match any of the router descriptions there so it's going to render that not found page uh that's react router there when also you're using it uh if you go to main you're going to have to use a browser router so you're going to port that to the top of the file and you're going to wrap your app um in a browser router there because we're in the freaking browser um cool so that's app 
Um, again, it's mostly just a bunch of components at this point. So we have the header one. It just has uh, an H1, an H1 element there. It has some buttons. It has some icons. We have the footer. Uh, actually, sorry, main. Let me go main next. Let me do this shit in order. Um, what we're just doing here, we have our little image carousel there. We're just going to create a little card. And we're going to get the title, the description of everything. This is using Bootstrap. Bootstrap is very simple to use. Uh, I just got a little idea there. Maybe I'll make a little video on how to use Bootstrap uh, with React. I think it's super, super simple. Uh, how someone explained to me and how, how they do it. I think it's a really simple process. So oh, that will definitely be a video. I'm definitely going to make a video on that. Uh, but for today, we're just going to finish up doing a recap on what we're learning here, what we're doing. Uh, and last, we got footer. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, just some content here within a container. We're just applying some base styles to it. You know, something about the company, the location, their brands, their blog, you know, contact, frequently asked questions, support, blah, 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 things like that. Um, again, we have our home page component here. So let me go into this here. Uh, we are using an effect. So we're going to have to get some items from an API. I'm just using fake store API. Uh, if you're on the shopping cart project, um, it's going to it's just going to link you to it. It kind of saves you the hassle of trying to find a perfect API because, guys, believe me, I wasted so much time trying to find a perfect API. but Really, just to meet the project specs and to not waste time trying to find the perfect this or the perfect idea for a site, um, just get practice using the fake store API. They have a bunch of kind of like random stupid products on there, but it does the job. And it's more just to practice um, the concepts. But I'm still going to make the site look nice. Uh, so, yeah, we're making the API call and a try catch block there. We're setting some data. Once our data is set, uh, like we set our product images, we get all our products back, uh, then we'll render them. So we'll render the header component, and then we'll pass them as props to main component, which in main component is just going to map through those different, uh, map through that data. Oh, actually, sorry, it's not. Uh, here, we are just going to render the different images that we set in there. So let me go back to, uh, where are we at here? Where are we at here? God, I got totally lost. Oh, homepage. Sorry, I was at homepage there. Huh, Jesus Christ. Um, there, we're just setting the images there, and then we're passing them to that main component there. Um, I have five images there, but I'm really just using three so far. So if I go back to the main component again, uh, these aren't being used right here. <laughs> I'm not even using data either. I'm not even sure why I'm passing this in. Again, work in progress. I got a bunch of random shit, kind of comment, commented out code everywhere. Uh, but yep, just passing those as props. Rendering them in the little uh, image carousel and the card component there. Um, and I think that's basically it. I think it's basically all I want to update in. And the last, we're just like rendering our footer down there. Um, boom. That is basically shopping cart right there. That is basically shopping cart so far. What I have going on next. Uh, again, I'm going to make that little checkout page. I'm going to try to um, see with these buttons here. I also want to increase... Um, not increase the quantity, but um, it's going to calculate the total price if I enter like two of these and I don't know, like four of these or some shit. Um, and when I go to the checkout page, it's going to render my current total. So that'll be coming next too. Uh, that's basically it. That's shopping cart. Hope to do another video update here soon. And I want to do that video update or not an update, a little, maybe a little video tutorial on using Bootstrap with React. Because um, I think as you get a little more advanced in the Odin project and, you know, I don't know, you're on Shopping Car, which is the final React projects, or you're getting further along in the curriculum, you know, it might be a good idea to check out uh, Bootstrap or Tailwind and start, you know, learn some new things and branching out. Again, it's not required, but I think it uh, helps you stand out a little bit more and learn some new topics. So, boom, that's about it, guys. Until next time, have a good one. Keep working hard, everyone. And keep on grinding. Until next time, guys. Love you guys. Peace.